26. This is your anger class for the first Monday back after half term. I hope you all had a lovely week and that you've uh, managed to relax. Maybe enjoy some of the slightly warmer weather. It's been quite nice. Uh, in fact, it's really bright and sunny now. I'm recording this. Um, so today's um, well, actually no. Let me go back a step. Our next block of learning is all about measures and metric measures. It should only be about a week, so we'll see how that goes and how we get on with it. Um, so your first objective is to use, read and write metric measurements. OK, uh, so your question is this. What unit of measurement should be used for each of these items? So you've got a large bottle of water, a can of Sprite, a uh, normal size bar of dairy milk, a bag of flour and some spaghetti. OK, so first job what unit of measurement should be used so have a go at working out what you're going to measure these things in okay when you've done that have a look at the challenge can you estimate the measurement for each object so approximately how much would each of these things contain now i know it's hard because they're on a screen and you can't see them but imagine this was a kind of large sized water bottle that you'd see in the supermarket or the news agents. This is just your average normal sized can, average normal sized dairy milk, not one of those ginormous ones, a normal sized bag of flour and a normal sized pack of spaghetti. OK, and try not to dig around in your cupboards, people try and estimate. So have a think about what it might be. So what I'm expecting you to do as before is pause the video, have a go uh, and then come back and I'll go through it. Oh, I forgot about the support in your hands. Sorry. So two of them contain liquid. Would you use milliliters or liters? So there's two that contain liquid. You should be able to work out which ones those two are. Are you going to use milliliters or liters? And then the other three you need to choose between grams and kilograms. I don't know why I've used the abbreviations for these two and the and the thing for those two. This is grams, this is kilograms, this is milliliters. Let me write it on for you. I don't know what I was doing there. Milliliters or indeed liters. Okay, so grams, kilograms, milliliters, liters. Right, make your decision, have a go, and then I'll go through it. Right, so our large bottle of water here. I would be saying that we're going to measure in litres rather than millilitres. Our smaller can of liquid, the Sprite here, will have millilitres. And the dairy milk, we're choosing between grams and kilograms. It's not a ginormous one, so we'll go with grams. The flour, I would go with kilograms and we'll go through this estimation in a minute as to why i've said kilograms and then the spaghetti will go back to grams again okay so that is what i would say we would measure all of these things in so now it said estimate the measurement for each object so i would say this bottle of water i mean it depends which one you've seen in the shop really it could be one liter it could be 1.5 it could be two litres. You get a variety, really. OK. Small can of Sprite is normally 330 millilitres. Same for a can of Coke, etc. Any of those things. Now, your dairy milk bar, they vary a bit. And I think they've changed um, over time. I'm going to estimate for now 40 grams. But I might just check that when I finish this video. And uh, I might even add it and pause it and come back. Otherwise, I'll do it in the guided section. Bag of flour, normally 1.5 kilograms. So that's one and a half kilograms. OK. And finally, the spaghetti. You can get larger packs, but normally they contain 500 grams. OK. All right, that's it for the anchor task. I will just uh, pause this and just double check the weight of that dairy milk. So I'll be back in a moment. Right, I'm back again. I did a quick check. Actually, the dairy milk is 45 grams. So you're getting an extra five grams on what I thought. 
and the rest are about right. You can get a kilogram bag of flour, but normally 1.5 kilograms. You can get a kilogram of spaghetti, but normally 500 grams. Right, I'll be back for the guided in a moment. See you soon.